what's up Sagaholics? I don't know if you guys was watching the Game of Thrones, but I was, and holy shit! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so in this episode, I'll show you how to win at the game of eBay Junk. Cause when you play the eBay game of junk, you either fix or the console dies. What? <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> that was pretty cheesy. Anyway, hop onto eBay and search for your targeted console, followed by the words um, repair, junk, parts, or broken. Wait a minute, let's rewind. I think I saw something. What? <laughs> Ladies, it's why God gave you hands. I keyed, I keyed. First thing you have to know is know your console. For example, I would never buy a Dreamcast with disc reading issues. Authentic laser pickups are super expensive, and the generic replacements tend not to work off the box. Also, avoid SNESs that does not output video, as it may be the black screen of death. Next, avoid video game retailers or sellers that sell mostly video games. You can bet repair attempts have already been made. Instead, look for sellers with a variety of stuff. Stuff that seemed like they came out of a garage sale, thrift shop, or a storage auction. For example, here's an eBay listing with a Dreamcast that does not power up. Power issues are usually cheap and easy to repair. And if you fail to find a broken component, getting a replacement power supply is cheap and easy to find. Once you find a listing that you like, click on the See Other Items under the seller information. This is what I like to see, a variety of stuff, not just video games. This lessens the chance that he or she is a video gamer that tried to tinker with the machine. Next step, closely examine the pictures. Pictures are a great source of information, but sometimes they're not. For example, check out this picture of a drive bay of a Japanese Saturn. There's more information here than you may think. Look at the position of the laser pickup. When it's not next to the spindle hub, it tells us that this Saturn was in the middle of reading a game when this unit was turned off. For any CD-based system, upon power-up, the laser pickup will move toward the spindle hub to see if there's a disc present. If the unit fails to read a CD, the laser pickup will stay right next to the spindle hub. With a properly working CD drive, the laser pickup will move away from the spindle hub to read the various tracks on the CD. So in short, when you see the laser pickup away from the spindle hub, you know that the console can read discs. Here's a listing with a nice price with pictures from various angles. Be wary of close-up pictures such as this. It doesn't show if the battery cover is present or if there's damage to the back corners or even damage to the front corners. So make sure you read the item description closely. So if in doubt, ask a question. A reputable seller will reply. Personally, I like to use the ask a question button to ask for discounts. Most of my used console purchases from eBay was bargained for. Just nicely ask the seller if he or she would sell at a better price. Anyway, if you got any tips on how to win the game of eBay junk, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Okay players, gotta go. Mahalo!